Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, should be a fast uh, lesson. This is place value to a thousand. So a thousand has a one with three zeros there. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, so there's our common course strand for our awesome, most awesome teachers. And our question is, how do we know the values of the digits in numbers? Okay, so we're doing more place value. So I'm supposed to read this to you. So I just left that there so I can see that number. Okay, so there are... 245 sheets of colored paper in the supply closet and we're supposed to write the number so we're going to write the number 245 right here and then draw a quick picture okay so let's go ahead and write 245 there's 245 okay this is in the this is in the ones spot this is the tens spot this is the hundreds spot so there are two hundreds. Do you remember how we write hundreds? We do uh, those squares. Okay, so there's two hundreds. There are four tens. So tens are those sticks. Okay, so um, there's four tens right there. And there's five ones. So we'll do five little dots right there, five little circles right there. Okay. All right, same with this one here. Let me grab uh, this. So I, I just got to remember the number. So there are 450. 58 uh, sheets of plain paper uh, by the computer table. So we're going to write 458 right there. So 458 goes right there. Okay. And then this is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds. So there's 400. So we'll do four squares. And there's a uh, 510. So we'll do five sticks right there. And there's uh, eight, um, eight one. So we'll do eight. Uh, what, there might be cubes if you have uh, uh, blocks in your class. Uh, so there would be uh, eight cubes. So typically we stack them by stacks of five. Here's five, six, seven, eight right there. Okay. So here's four hundreds, five tens, and eight ones right there. Okay. All right. So describe how uh, five tens is different from five hundreds. Okay. Well. Five tens has a value of 50, whereas five hundreds has a value of 500. So I'd rather have $500 than five tens of dollars, because that would be only $50. Okay, so uh, the place of a digit in a number tells its value. Okay, so let's uh, uh, talk about this 479. 479, okay? All right, so the 4 in the 479 has a value of 400 or 400, okay? The 7 uh, has a value of 7 tens because it's in the tens position. So 7 tens is 70. Notice tens only has one zero, hundreds always has two zeros. And then uh, the nine, um, uh, the nine in uh, the 479 has a value of nine ones or just nine right there. Okay, so there are ten hundreds in one thousand. So here's one hundred right there. Okay, so let's do ten of them. Here's ten of them right there. That gives us a thousand. If we have ten hundreds, that gives us one thousand. And so you see a big cube that looks like that. Um, and then that big cube represents 1,000. So the one in the thousands place has a value of 1,000. Okay, a one with three zeros. Thousand has three zeros. Okay, all right. So circle the uh, the value or the meeting of the red digit. Okay, so the first one is 307, and seven is our red digit. So this is in the ones spot. So that would be seven ones right there. Okay, so we circle that one. All right, the next one is 684. Eight is in the tens spot. So tens would have one zero, so it would be 80. Eight tens is 80. Okay, 562, that's in the hundreds spot, so that would be 500s. Okay, 1,234, the one is in the thousands spot, so it's 1,000 right there. All right, okay, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.